what's up? Mike Locke here. Thank you for checking out this video. So in this tutorial, I am going to walk you through how to go about designing a logo. Uh, so the first thing you do, or first thing I do, is I type out the name of the logo that I'm going to go with. Uh, name of the company. So in this case, uh, I've created a fake company name called Paintree. Paintree is a web, is a software company, and they're looking for a clean Web 2.0 type of feel sort of logo uh, with, an, with an icon that sort of stands out. So what I normally do, I've decided to go with the Helvetica type of font and uh, if what I'm doing, I'm assuming that you've gone, you've done some research on the, the industry, on the company and you've done some research on what type of font choice you want to go with. Um, what I normally do, the tip that you can go you can use is go to the thefont.com and the font.com has a thousands of fonts in their library and they allow you to enter your into their company name and easily preview your company name across all their different fonts in their library and this is cool because it gives you an idea of what type of fonts look cool and what things you're going to want to go with uh, it also, every font in there is free, I believe, so you can easily download the font for PC or Mac. So, let's say I've done that, I've done my research, and, okay, here I go, I want to go with a font. So, for this example, I'm going to just stick with Helvetica. It's very simple and easy. And so, what I normally do is I split up the two words, if it's two words or three, I split it up because I might want to merge the two or sort of angle the two at different different angles and things like that to to get a feel for what I want to go with but in our case what I'm just going to do is merge these two letters and then give the second name uh, some contrast see my thing is creating a logo takes seconds but building a brand takes years and and consistency and happens over time so uh, anyone can pretty much design a logo within minutes. So what I'm going to do is, so here's Paint Tree, and what I've done, I've combined these two letters so that it gives it a little a little different look. So you have Paint Tree and you have the T running together, so it looks sort of cool. So, okay, I'm happy with that so far. I select my font type. What I do is I select Type up here and I want to create outlines. So I want to make outlines of my font type so that I can manipulate um, different dots and different lines and things of that um, that type if I, if I choose. So from here, uh, the logo is pretty simple, pretty clean, but I want to add an icon to it. So what I'm going to do is build a tree. So let's build a little icon. So I take my pen tool. Let's zoom in here. And I'm going to design a tree to sort of complement my my logo. So I'm just taking my pen tool and I'm designing branches. And this is where sort of some design skill come into play. And um, you would may you if if you're not comfortable in doing this type of work, vector artwork, um, you know, just practice at it and uh, you'll become pretty good at it over time. So what I've done, I've created a branch that's going to be my main branch uh, and I'm just making a copy of that, scaling it down, twisting it a little bit and I'm going to make, uh, just add two more branches to to my uh, to my tree. So I've just made it smaller and I've cop made a copy of that and now I'm going to just rotate that. And uh, you can use the rotate tool, which is right over here in Illustrator or Photoshop, however you choose. So there I have my my branches, and um, I'm going to create leaves. I'm going to create leaves for my tree. So again, the the logo type that I'm going for is a Web 2.0 look and feel. So this vector art type of type of graphic sort of fits well with this brand. I just 
ruin that leaf. So here I go. Let's do it. Try it again. Okay. So what I'm doing is just taking the pen tool and uh, basically creating a shape of a leaf. And so you can see it there. You can see it come together. So once I'm done with one, I just copy that, make this one a little larger, put it there. So basically designing icons and things like that for your logo. Um, it just takes some getting used to the vector pen tool within Illustrator and you can pretty much do anything you want. You can build cartoons, build different type of shapes. So there you have it. I have my little tree and uh, put it next to my logo and it's looking pretty good at this point. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, let's zoom into my icon and because each of these branches that I've created are different objects. I want to select all these objects and I want to merge them all together. So what I would do is you go to um, Window, select Pathfinder, and then select this little icon right here where it's going to merge these objects together. And what this does, it treats it as one object so I can then change the color. So I can turn it to black, gives it some some sort of connection so let's go with that so there's the logo that's pretty much it at this point what I would do you can select everything group them together and then you can do file save as and at this point you can save to save as EPS PDF or uh, Adobe Illustrator and um, that would give you the files that are ready for print and with those files you can import those files into Adobe Photoshop and create JPEGs and GIF files for them to use uh, within the web. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.